What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about what I think is one of the best gifts you can give to any techie for under 25 bucks and before I start this video I want to say this is not sponsored by iFixit. This is purely my opinion and I just thought this would make a good video coming out around the holidays. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> watch some of the videos on my channel you'll know that this is a common piece between a lot of the hardware that I work on and the reason for that is it's applicable to many many different pieces of uh, electronic hardware so in my examples I've used it on the Nintendo Switch I've used it on Xbox controllers I've used it on MacBook Pros I've used it on iPhones and a lot of things in between be it my drone also for example so very very wide range of electronics that it can apply to um, so without further ado, actually, let's go ahead and open it up and we'll start talking about what you get in the toolkit. So if you open the top, you'll see right away the first thing that caught my eye when I opened it. And I think probably the best touch of the toolkit is this nice rib design that you get in here. And what that's so useful for is when you're taking apart something like a Nintendo Switch that has a ton of different screws, you can put the screws in different pockets in this lid and they will stay separate and it it's just a great touch. So I fix it, sell something called the magnetic project mat. I think this is sort of a parallel to it. And, you know, without having to buy anything extra, this does the job. And it's been really, really helpful with a lot of the things that I've had to fix, you know, and, uh, ever since I've gotten this. So besides the lid, you know, we'll go in and talk more about what components we get on the inside. So we'll just talk about some of the less important ones here, but some that are still a nice touch to have. So if you've ever changed an iPhone screen, you're gonna know that you need a suction cup. Once you uh, take out the two screws, you're gonna have to push this down onto the screen and lift it up. So a nice touch that iFixit throws this in. Not very useful, but when you need it, you need it. And I think that's nice that it comes with it. Next, we have a plastic spudger. So this little guy on the left here, and we have a metal spudger. So this one on the right. And these two guys are really useful for prying connectors off, for getting between things and stuff like that. Um, I guess that's why they're called spudgers or priers or pry tools. Um, so you get two different ones here. Uh, the plastic one generally does a little bit less damage than the metal one. However, I've used the metal one without damaging anything I've worked with. Um, another thing that the metal one I found is good for and why it's got a little bit of a sticky residue on it is it's very good for um, 3M tape, the foam double-sided tape that I've used on my drone. Getting between whatever is stuck together is really, really easy with this, and it doesn't really leave any residue on the, the thing you're prying it from, nor does it leave any damage on what you're prying it from. So a really, really great tool, useful in a lot of situations. So we'll throw that off to the side and keep going. Next, we have these little guitar pick type tools, and what these are, are when you pry something open and you need to keep it open, you pry it open and you stick this card in the middle of it and it will stay open. So they give you one, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. I'm sorry, they're all scattered about, but we'll throw those over to the side while I remember how to count. And there's even another one up here. And there we go, so that's all of them. Moving on, we have a pair of tweezers. So these are very fine tip tweezers that come with a nice little plastic cover. So useful for picking up small screws, for picking up small connectors, for placing things, stuff like that. And I have found myself using these, again, very often and very, very useful, especially in terms of fixing electronics, but even just useful around that uh, house or apartment for stuff of the like. Moving on, we have another plastic prior and poker tool. So it has a nice little uh, note on there. I don't think I've ever noticed that. It says repair is noble. And I agree with that because it feels pretty nice to be able to do a repair yourself, for example. And again, not sponsored by I fix it before I say this, but um, my laptop screen broke. My girlfriend happened to crack the screen. And yes, it hurt to see a MacBook screen cracked, but to go to Apple, which I went and I talked to the geniuses there, and it was going to cost around 800 bucks to replace the screen and that was just that was just too much to me 
And I went and looked online for the replacement part and to get it for my fix, it was about 400 bucks. And I got this toolkit for I think 20 or $25. And I was able to do the repair myself in about a half an hour. And really it saved me a lot of money. It saved me half the cost and it did a fantastic job. You know, it did everything that I needed it to. So again, very good on iFixit, but not sponsored by them, despite what it may look like. Um, moving on, uh, we have the last, but probably the most important thing in here, which is the screwdriver and the bits that it comes with. So it comes with the main unit here that you just put, you know, any of the bits that you would choose in, and then you would do whatever screwing you would have to do. Um, so some of the important bits that it comes with is it comes with the Torx T4 up to T10, uh, it looks like. So that's good for Xbox controllers. That's good for, um, I'm using hex, uh, screws on my Raspberry, dr uh, Raspberry Pi drone. So that is also useful. Um, moving down to the next row here, we have the P2 and P5 screws. So those are pentalobe and that is going to be for your iPhones and, uh, other Apple products like that. Um, moving down further on that row, we have one, two, three different sizes of flathead screwdrivers. And all the way on the left here, we have a SIM uh, card tool tray. A SIM card tray tool. Sorry, that's a mouthful. Um, but the SIM card tray tool, um, I actually found that on accident in here. I didn't know it was in here. And when I got my new phone, the iPhone X, I needed to change my SIM card from my 8 Plus over. And the paper clips I had here were rubber coated. So I actually couldn't get the metal part into the SIM card tray to open it. And I thought I was gonna have to go buy uh, a tool or something to open it or, you know, go out and buy a paper clip or something. But after looking in the toolkit for something that may have been in here that I didn't remember, it turns out that it had the exact tool that I was looking for. So just, you know, something that isn't necessarily necessary, but useful in situations that may come up. Um, and then moving on to the last row here, we have one, two, three, four different sizes of Phillips head. And then this last one on the right is the Y triple zero or the tri wing, which is useful for Nintendo switch and other Nintendo products. So pretty much every standard electronic that you'd be working with, be it laptops, phones, game consoles, or stuff of the like, you're pretty much covered for any basic repair that you'd have to do. Um, you know, anything that's replacing parts, anything that's taking, taking something apart and, uh, moving connectors or stuff of the like, um, this, this kit really has you covered in a lot of situations for under 25 bucks. So I looked right before this video. So, uh, you know, I don't know if the price will change, uh, with the upcoming holiday season, but, uh, it runs right now at 23.95 and you know, for a techie, I think that's honestly a really great gift at a really low price point. So, you know, if you guys have any other opinions of good techie gifts to give out around Christmas, feel free to leave a comment and a link and I'll go check them out. Maybe I'll pick some up depending if I like them or not. But I'll thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Be sure to check out some of my other ones and keep a lookout for some of the UAV or longboarding content that'll be coming out in the near future. So I have been using the backboard, uh, the backfire longboard but it has been very cold and very snowy here where I'm at school. So, you know, give me a little bit more time. I'm working on it. Um, it is a great board. It's been doing really great and it does handle the, the weather, but I've been trying to not ride in the snow so much because I don't want to fall. Um, but with that, I'll go ahead and close up this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.